Hello, Raptors Nation. Sean Davis here for the Raptors Nation, your home for everything Raptors. As the draft season starts to pick up, so will trade rumors. One member of your Raptors have been in the thick of them, and that is OG Ananobi. Before we dive into all that, quick reminder, please do subscribe right here to the Raptors Nation YouTube channel. Ring that notification bell as well so you can stay up to date with all our latest content. It's going to be very busy off-season for your Toronto Raptors. You want to stay in the know with all layers covered. So hit that subscribe button and read that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all our latest news and content. Jake Fisher, a bleach report. He had a report that came out a couple days ago now about OG and Anobi and potentially him being dissatisfied and the market around OG and Anobi. That's what the topic of this video is going to be about today because there's a lot of interesting stuff that we have to break down from this article uh, Jake Fisher does report in this article that, uh, well, first off, we do know. One thing we do know, we knew about this coming in. The Raptors have been reportedly linked to several centers, and they want a starting caliber center. This dates back to the trade deadline. We're in this article. Uh, Jake Fisher reports that the Raptors contacted the Pacers and flirted around with Miles Turner and DeMontis Sabonis. They contacted the Spurs about Yaka Pirtle. They even contacted uh, the, and they went after Jared Allen last summer. So the Raptors, and they've reportedly been a linked, potentially linked destination for Rudy Gobert if he was to be available on the market in a contract you likely need in that would be OG and Anobis. Now, uh, Jake Fisher does also report in this article that there seems to be a growing sense around uh, rival front offices that Ananobi became dissatisfied at times with this role in Toronto. And that you can kind of see where that could make sense, if true, because you have Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, and Fred Van Vliet as the primary ball handlers with Nick Nurse. And then you have him and Gary Trent Jr. And at times, it really felt like Gary Trent Jr. was higher up on that level uh, in the offense than OG and Anobi. Now, uh, per the article, there's two sources with knowledge of the dynamic told Bleach Report that Ananobi was not directly uh, discontent with the situation with the Raptors. I don't think Ananobi's going to get traded. Saw a similar situation with Pascal Siakam last offseason. And again, there have been two linked destinations for OG and Ananobi if he were to be traded. That would be the Utah Jazz and the Portland Trail Blazers. But Jake Fisher goes on to describe that... OG and Obi's trade market might be higher than some may think. The Blazers, they are potentially looking to shop that number seven overall pick to try to gain some assets. Uh, two biggest targets on their boards, if you will, are OG and Obi, Jeremy Grant. And the growing sense around rival front offices is OG and Obi has a higher trade value than Jeremy Grant. But Jake Fisher goes on and describes in the article that Anobi's trade value is seen as greater than Detroit's known asking price for Grant, which Jeremy Grant's asking price from the Detroit Pistons is known to be two first-round picks or a first and a promising rookie-scale prospect. Really, really interesting to see that OG and Anobi's trade value is that high. Obviously, OG is a spectacular player. Do I think OG and Anobi's going to get traded? No, I don't. His value, unless it's going to be something ridiculously high, and if you had told me two first-round picks for OG and Anobi, I'm probably doing that deal, or one first-round pick at a great young talent, I may consider doing that deal. But I just don't see OG and Anobi getting traded. First off, I don't think that's going to be the value on the market. And I think Masai Ujiri knows, Nick Nurse knows, how good and how valuable OG and Anobi is to that team. You don't just trade players for any reason. First off, again, we're not even sure if this is true or not. Um, and OG and Obi, he's still only 24. He's a better defender than Jeremy Grant, which I get in my in my opinion, which kind of explains to a certain extent why his value might be seen as high. And he's also on a value of a contract. He's on a four-year, $72 million contract with a player option for the 2024-2025 season. And he's seen as a growing piece for the future. You build around him, Scotty Barnes, you still have Pascal Siakam, Gary Trent Jr., Presses Achua. He's a part of the future for the Raptors and how they're going to stay in contention for the next five, potentially even 10 years. But I want to go back to that Rudy Gobert uh, part really, really quickly. Because I've been on the notion that I would really don't want the Raptors to trade for Rudy Gobert. And that's because I really do think that you already have your starting center on the roster. And that is Preston Achua. Look, Preston Achua is kind of a 3 and D center 
who you don't have to go trade assets for. He's there on your roster, especially if he's shooting the three ball at the volume that he was shooting it after the All-Star break. So he gets the space to floor for you. That's one. He's a good defender. He can handle guard. He did a solid job, in my opinion, guarding Joel Embiid in the playoffs. I have a film breakdown on Preston Chua coming out in the coming weeks. But I think you already have him on your roster, and then you go out and maybe go draft another center, or you go sign another center. You should, you're should. you expected to have your non-taxpayer mid-level exception, even if you bring back Chris Boucher. I don't like the idea of trading, Gary, let's say, Gary Trent Jr. and OG and Anobi plus more stuff, because that doesn't even add up to go get Rudy Gobert and, you know, ruin the nucleus that you already have on this roster. I'm not a fan of that, personally. I think the Raptors should stick with the core that they have. I don't think we're going to see OG traded. I don't think they're going to go get Rudy Gobert. If anything, I think they keep the chips together. They might trade up, and if they do decide to trade up, then you get a little interesting because there's obviously somebody they've been eyeing. Go check out the Benedict Matherin video, which I talk about the possibility of trading up into the lottery. But I don't think we're going to see anything drastic from the Raptors while things do happen in the NBA. But I just don't see it, especially not a Rudy Gobert trade or OG Anobi traded in any other scenario outside of getting up into the lottery in this year's draft class, which is a wildly, wildly deep draft class filled of tons of talent. But Raptors Asia, comment down below. What do you guys think about all these rumors? Do you think OG and Obi is going to be traded? Comment down below. And also, hit that post notification bell and subscribe right here to the Raptors Asia YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest content. Sean Davis here from the Raptors Nation. Stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.